My grandma used to view cleaning as a meditative activity. Nai Nai would say that if my space was cluttered, my mind would be cluttered too. Nai Nai, grandma, Nai Nai. <laughs> or drag them to the right location. When you're done, hit the arrow button to go back or forward in the story. Unfortunately, I can get pretty messy these days. I get too busy to even think, let alone clean. I find myself frazzled by constantly hustling. It's sometimes like I don't know how else to be. Hustling. Hustling. <coughs> Gah! How come I have to do more math after my normal schoolwork? It's so annoying. Press the numbers to answer the questions. You'll get orange juice as a treat for being right. In my 20-something years of being alive, I got pretty good at doing what I'm supposed to. I follow the rules, I stick to the script, 
I try over and over until I get it right. Mommy and Daddy are mad that I never practiced piano. Better learn quick before my lesson. After the notes play, repeat it by clicking on the keys. Don't mess up, or you'll have to start over again. Jesus. <laughs> mm. But these days I feel like I'm on a treadmill that never stops. There's always something to chase next. Something I need to achieve, to acquire, to make. I need to apply to a new job. I need to work on new projects. I need to work out. I need to stop I need to try harder. harder. I need to be hotter. I need to update I need my LinkedIn. I need to respond to where my I need to see the world. I'm so bored. There's nothing to do here. Let's take my flute case and make it fun. Use paint, stickers, and anything else you find to decorate. Maybe I'm always doing so much to find something to hold on to. Maybe a lot of what I do is a battle against emptiness. The older I get, the more I feel like people and memories just fade away. What's left when they do? Chinese school? Why do I have to do more school? At least Nai Nai is here to help me with the homework. Will you help me drag the puzzle pieces to help put together the characters? Jia Qi means precious stone. That's my name. <laughs> Yay! 
电脑 electric brain or computer. I don't know what to call my Tamagotchi, so we call it a 电脑 Eight twenty. Nine nine says when I frown, it looks like body and archer. Can you see why? I sometimes wonder what life would be like if my family grew up around more people like us. Would I be more used to belonging? Would I not feel like I'm just a big weirdo deep down? Would I not have the belief that some things just aren't for me? Wow, you have a boyfriend! It's a miracle. Press the numbers on the cell phone to text him back. Whatever you do, don't mess this up. I seem to manage most parts of my life, but I still feel so behind in the world of love. I feel like I can only spectate it from a distance, like all the normal people are behind one wall, and I'm stuck on the other side. I linger on the stale crumbs from situations years ago. I'll replay every single moment, searching for what I could have done wrong. Maybe if I had just been less needy. Maybe if I just were more put together. Sensitive, emotional, dependent, pushy, needy, self-reliant, intellectual, desirable, attractive, <laughs> put together. Sensitive, 
I'm so fucking tired. I need to get out of here. I just need to get out. I just need to be good enough. I just need to push through and get the fuck. Will you help me apply to colleges? Click on the keyboard to help me write my college application essays. Better write fast. Time is ticking. But lately, I've been hitting a wall with proving myself, playing it safe, and doing things correctly. I'll imagine life will fall into place once I do the next big thing, but I'll end up where I started. I go through the motions, but it still feels like I can't really access the whole living a life thing that others seem to do. I need to just move forward, but I don't know what to do.
Somewhere along the way, I got the memo that something is wrong with me. I'm not good enough. If something bad happens, if I get hurt, it's my fault. I have to always fix something about myself. I have to work harder, self-correct. I can't make mistakes. I have to anticipate every scenario, risk, or reaction. Don't be too needy. I hate myself. I'm too sensitive. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm too much. Stop crying. I'm sorry. Something's wrong with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm trying to understand that just because it feels like all my fault doesn't mean it is. That the people who have caused me the most pain do so because of their own pain, their own fears, their own ways of protecting themselves. That the ways I felt not good enough were reinforced by ways they might struggle with that too. That the ways my sadness couldn't be held are maybe because it's hard to hold their own as well. I try to understand sometimes things just hurt and it's never my fault for caring too much in the first place. Sometimes I'm sad about what could have been, the paths I never had, the years I could have gotten back, the person I could have been, the people we might all have been, if things didn't have to play out the way they did. But I can't change the past. I can't rewrite what can't be rewritten. But what I need to do is build the world I need for myself. If what hurts me is avoidance, neglect, brushing things under the rug, I'll go directly to the site where it all happened. I'll stare it in the face. I'll spend time with the things that everyone else forgot about. I don't run away. I won't be afraid of getting close. If what hurts me is the pressure to just move on, I'll let myself dwell, replay things over and over as much as I need to, feel everything with the depth I need to for as long as I need. If what hurts me is not being heard, in my sadness and in my desires, I'll show up over and over again to hear myself. I will be the person I didn't have but needed. I will practice over and over seeing myself and letting myself be seen by people who can care for me in the right ways or are willing to try. I will come back after months with new joys and new heartaches to return to work that will never be finished. I'll reprogram it all line by line, even if the code is messy and redundant. I will write and rewrite until the story feels better. I'll make myself so visible, even though all I want to do lately is to hide. Every time I look back, I tell my emptiness that maybe there was always so much there all along. Every time I create, I tell my hopelessness that maybe there is still so much more to come. I will take every flaky, doughy layer. I will chop, combine, integrate, mix, and remix, and season over and over until I transform into something new. Until the day I won't be so afraid anymore. Until the day that I can really believe in every slice of me and every slice that comes that there was nothing wrong with me then. There's nothing wrong with me now. There was nothing wrong with me this whole time.
there is leftover shelving, maybe not to feed everyone, um, but people can nibble. Um, and then I also had my friend Rashida make a wonderful spread for us, party snacks. Um, yeah, thank you so much for coming. I feel the love. <laughs>